playing crazy a game where you can build anything and i mean literally everything if you're wondering how some players can make this and yours look like this then this video is for you here are five ways to get better at playing crazy and more so the first one we're going to talk about is learning the locking techniques unless you want your builds to look like blocks and bricks so learn them and there are seven known ones you can do each one does things differently this one no clips to any blocks another makes angles easily without doing this and using them will turn any build 50 percent better so if you haven't watched this video yet go watch it then come back after there are three ways you can set them up you either got normal locking makes you put one thing on another the locking tree advanced version of locking and camera locking using cameras to lock now i like this one better since i don't like my pc going overdrive but if i see any of you making towers like this i might have to leave. now the second is looking at cool designs and 3d models what does a plane or a jet look like if you haven't looked at one there are many great images of cool builds and designs you can search up well, the ones I recommend using to find them easier are Pinterest and Sketchfab. Looking at cool designs will inspire you to build similar to that or build one yourself. Now, if you're confused where to start first, start with the nose or the front and focus on that until it looks similar to the original. Then move on to the next. This will make building easier than painful. If the build you're making is too hard, it's fine. Keep it and work on another one that's slightly easier. Now. With the design or idea you want to build, and learn the locking techniques, now we must put them all together. But now you're seeing problems already, such as, it's too round, the angles, or how. So I will give you examples on how to solve these problems. If it's too round, use cylinders. Each one will give you a different size or look. Though I just can't give you those angles, use camera locking, angle locking, or motor 2 locking to make the angle you want. There are 100 blocks in plain crazy and more, but the most useful are highlighted in yellow and cylinders and half balls. With these, you can make most of the shapes needed for your build. These are used for details mostly, so you can use it for anything. You must experiment and try a lot getting the right angles but you will get faster as time goes on. So use the locking tree, since it gives more space to work with all the angles you'll be making. Piston locking will be useful for filling most sharp angles or parts for a subtle detail, sinking parts down lower or make them higher if motor isn't enough. If you're using camera locking, Space them out of your plot like a diagram. You can also reverse angle them, which gives more space. But keep in mind, it's very easy to destroy those cameras in PvP, so try to hide them as possible if that's the case. If you're copying a design, compare the original design and yours to see if it's accurate enough. But keep in mind, you won't always get it 100% right, so try to aim just 70 or 90% of the build. All is possible when using the locking techniques. It is easier to make the whole model first without the details, then to test and see whether it flies good or not. But it's completely up to you. It saves time and saves time replacing all components for the half you just built. <laughs> if you are making your own, draw your design on paper. And the easiest way to do that is draw it on a top view since it's the most easiest way to plan your build. If you're feeling lazy, get some parts on the design you like and make it as your own build. Remember, designing or building is art, since you're trying to make something cool to impress others. Don't try to rush it though, everything good takes time to finish. Once you're finished with the build, add some materials into the build since giving it no texture will make your build look like it's been drawn on a piece of paper and look bland. So it's good to create depth into your build and make it cooler to look at. 
Materials will affect your build's balance and weight by a bit though, but it will look better, so keep that in mind. Now for coloring. This will make any builds good or worse, depending on how the build looks. If you're making an F22 and want its paint job, go to colorpicker.com or this link right here. It's a great place to get all the colors you need. Or use 3D paint. I normally use this more for making my custom builds, but it's up to you. Now for tips for coloring better and playing crazy, just don't make your colors either too dark or too bright, where you either get blinded by it or having to look away from it. Make the colors where you can look at it calmly. And keep in mind, each color represents differently, shown right here. So now you finally completed your build. You can show it off to your friends and other players, maybe flex a little. But for some reason you want to show more people on how good your build really is. So to really find out, you must join the Playing Crazy community server and send it to Creations Channel. Now you just have to chat a little bit, and I mean just enough to get level 3. But before you post your creations, you must look at a few things to prevent this. Are there holes in your right wing? Since you use control panels to make them turn. Looks blocky in 8-bit? Looks like expired milk and flat. Or worse, copy the tutorial build and modify it a little and you want to post it. Now whatever you do, do not post it in Creations Channel. This server is very strict on Minecraft builds or copy builds and will downvote you hard on it or worse, bully you for it. Now unlike any other sandbox discord servers, this one in my experience is the most toxic out of any sandbox games I've played. And here's why. Most toxicity happens in creation chat due to the littlest things, probably because someone insulted another user's build or criticized it to make it look better or improve it a little. It is enough to start one. Now, there are really special people you'll find in playing crazy discord server and when you find them, do not argue with them. You will automatically lose in two ways. You will lose a lot of time and two, you're better off building something cooler that you like than fighting over useless arguments. The best way to deal with these players is either listen to what they say, if it's helpful, listen and use it and remember their advice. If it's so stupid that you want to start packing, don't talk any further. This will save you a lot of time and less headaches interacting with the server and playing the game more, so keep that in mind. For easy feedback, check the upvotes and downvotes of your creations, and minus upvotes to downvotes to get your total upvotes, as to see where you are on your building skills. The help chat is best to get your advice for building help. Just be prepared to get criticisms when showing your builds in Plain Crazy Community Server. My point is, don't try to start arguments against people who can't give right answers for you. It won't end well. Be friends with experienced players and pro players. They will improve your builds a lot with their advice and criticisms to help you get better. Just find the right ones that will help you get better, not the ones that will always insult your build and telling you to delete it. Unfortunately, playing crazy community players won't always be reliable, but you can observe them to see if they are great to ask help for. Some experienced players know something you don't, so try to learn as much as you can from them. Finally, the last point, practice. No one can become a good builder in a single day, so experiment with the new things you just learned, learn from your mistakes, and create something new that no one has seen before, and be the best at what you can do. It could be copying your favorite modern jets and real life designs, or maybe making spaceships or building boats. Whatever you like building, practice until you become so good at it. Locking techniques will make your builds better. Looking at cool designs and 3D models will give you an idea on how to make good builds. And with that, just start building something with the things you just learned and see how it turns out. Then maybe you can flex your friends that you made something better than them and prove to everyone that you are a good builder in this gods forsaken. And don't argue with people guys who doesn't know how to answer your questions right. And try to be friends with pro builders as best as you can and practice more to become the best at what you do. Comment down below what you want to see next in this channel. 
and I am good builder. Now watch me make something dumbly creative.